Did Billy really steal William's body? What will happen in the second season of Agatha all along? Let's go find Tommy. One of the questions left by the Agatha series is whether Billy Maximoff really stole William's body or if he really took a vessel that was already empty. An issue that will be a fundamental piece in his story from now on. In this video, we will be analyzing what really happened with Billy, what it could mean for the future of Marvel, and recent news about a second season of Agatha. Because Agatha has no body and maybe Billy will be her next victim. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Before starting this video, I invite you to participate in the new giveaway we will be having in this channel, where we will be giving away the first volume of Scarlet Witch by Steve Orlando, a story that will mark the future of the Marvel Universe. To participate, all you have to do is comment which is your favorite moment of the Marvel Universe. The winner will be announced on November 30th. When Agatha questioned Billy about his true motivations on the Witch's Road, he told her that he wanted to bring Tommy back, something Agatha helped him do. It would seem that Agatha's entire series revolved around Billy Maximoff's training. This is because the type of magic being manifested is a more intuitive type of magic. It is part of the chaos magic that Wanda Maximoff used, a type of magic that we already saw manifested in the WandaVision series. At first, there were doubts whether Billy was really manifesting the energy of space magic and not chaos energy because of his blue color, which connects to the colors of the space stone. However, the series finale showed us how the whole witch's road was a creation of Billy's subconscious thus demonstrating that Billy's abilities are actually a manifestation of chaos magic itself, as was also the case with the Scarlet Witch. This means that when Agatha was released from the spell and realized the power Billy had, she saw it as the opportunity she always needed, a chance to defeat death. However, there is something we must analyze now that the series is over, and that is why at some point Agatha had suspected that Billy might be her son. Agatha, that boy isn't yours. The moment Billy freed Agatha, Agatha realized that Billy was special. For not only did he free her from a spell that the Scarlet Witch had put her under, but he also created the Witch's Road, something that was really a lie created by Agatha, but became a reality. Let's not forget that this is the moment when Death also arrives to confront Agatha. That is, Agatha is seeing that Death is near, there is a young man with supernatural abilities, and she has lost her powers. It is possible that Agatha thought it was Death playing a trick on her before finishing her off, or that perhaps he really was a powerful sorcerer, and she would have to steal his power or learn how to use it to her advantage to escape Death. Now that we see this first season objectively, we understand that more than the story of Agatha being Billy's guide, it is Agatha's own struggle against Death and against magic trying to decipher if it was Death playing a trap on her, or if it was really the Scarlet Witch's son. Gosh, you really are a Maximoff. Otherwise, none of this would be nearly as dramatic. He's my brother! The moment Billy manifested his abilities, Agatha believed Rio. She knew that this young man was indeed Billy. She possibly picked up the same kind of magic she picked up in the past. And this brings us to the question that leads us to this video. Did Billy really steal William's body? While the fight between the witch and Agatha was going on, and Tommy and Billy's souls were returning to the universe to maintain their balance, something happened along the way. William Kaplan was with his parents in a car. Then, the one who wakes up from the accident is Billy. The question on the table is whether William was really destined to lose his life at that moment. And Billy's soul entering him revived him. Or if Billy really stole his body. The first clue to this is told by Agatha when she reveals who Billy is. You saw an opportunity, an empty vessel, and you moved in. So you broke the rules. Big deal! At this point in the story, Agatha realizes that she can do the same thing Billy did. Steal a body to cheat death. She decides to take a calculated risk, possibly sacrificing herself to hold on to Billy's chaos magic, and perhaps survive as he did. 
That's what Agatha meant by a calculated risk. Just as Billy managed to bond to William's body, Agatha could attempt the same, taking advantage of the chaos magic manifesting in the same way as in the past. But how could Agatha make sure he would come back to life? By activating that part of the magic in Billy and guiding him through a ritual. While we might think that Agatha helped Billy find Tommy, she was actually activating her plan B. It is possible that Agatha wished to appropriate the body that Billy was getting for his own brother. Yeah, Agatha, am I killing this voice so my brother can live? <laughs> I think the question Billy asks Agatha is crucial, as Billy wonders if he is taking this young boy's life. I also think the situation the young boy was in was purposely left ambiguous. Both William and the young boy who would be Tommy's vessel were close to losing their lives, but would be brought back. That is, William is supposed to remain William, and the young boy whose body Billy stole would be rescued from the water and would continue his days untroubled. This is a body snatching and a replacement of a life, however. Death does not care about this, since it took William's soul when Billy took his body. From my point of view, Billy really did steal her body, and Agatha was telling the truth. By understanding this, we realize that Agatha's goal is to use Billy to steal a body and come back to life, perhaps even resurrect her own son. There is a question that is also left hanging in the air in this series. Did Agatha suspect that Billy was her son? Perhaps Agatha has tried to resurrect her son in the past and suspected that he might come back somehow. And if this is the case, even Agatha's story could show us how her fight against death is not over. It is possible that Agatha sees Rio as the ultimate enemy, that person who took her son away from her, but whom she must rescue. Let's be honest. If Agatha's story is the story of a mother who wants to resurrect her son at any cost, we will better understand her motivations and why she has behaved the way she has, being a predator of all the witches she has encountered along the way. Now, when this series was commissioned, it was asked to focus on the relationship between Billy and Agatha, as Billy is an important character for the Young Avengers. However, like Loki with Thor, Agatha ended up capturing the public's attention and becoming one of Marvel's most acclaimed anti-heroes. Billy, although he had a good origin, did not manage to connect as much with the audience as Agatha did. And this is something we should not underestimate as there are already rumors of a second season of this series. We have nothing confirmed at the moment, but the success that Agatha had assures that her character will not simply become the ghost that sometimes gives her recommendations. I think that just like Loki, Agatha has the potential to become one of the anti-heroes that will face Doctor Doom. But before getting to this, she must recover her body, even if this involves breaking the balance of existence itself. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Could it be that Billy really stole a body? Could it be that Agatha saw the opportunity to defeat death? Do you think this is the beginning of her story? Share your opinion in the comments. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Oasis Geek.